Welcome to the council. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh, that's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If oh, you touch you. a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. I'll do it anyway. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Squeaky toy? Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. No, no. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? What happened in Rome? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Well, how's it gonna loosen my tongue if I'm dissolved? You know, I have to admit, Mother, I mean, it'll be the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. Okay, I'll don't, take don't care tell him that. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Not Listen, quite. let's make a deal. No deal. I'll tell you where the book is. Deal or no deal. If you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Act. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Um. Oh. Hey, do that. Oh. Oh. For God's sake, Louis, I told you to let me do it. What are you gonna do? Let me see. <sighs> You know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your nose. <sighs> it's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. Can't you be happy for once? I finally, we finally cracked the Von Borchardt case. He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. <sighs> How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more important than you can ever imagine. I know I am. Right. Let's go now. I wasn't putting my life on the line. I knew I was going to get him. Totally. Totally knew. Read letters from or address to the... Uh, okay, you didn't give me any time to read that. 1793. A long time ago. Like a million years ago. England. Cyanide. Cyanide. 
happiness. Those weren't supposed to be English accents they had, was it? It didn't sound English. I think that wolf's too new. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. I you went to England. I mean, if they're, if they're Americans, they're in England in 1793, isn't there, aren't we at like war or something? Or? I mean, at least they hate us The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is Contrary think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh no, we have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Um... Personal. Your or Eminence, over there. with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise, it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Your mouth isn't moving. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Um... And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here, am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right, this is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I Sounds like would have gone for a better suit. Cardinal and Duchess. Uh. Are you right? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. Huh? I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Your hand? Are you absolutely sure? No yes, I'm hand. sure. Right. Something in your hand? Just one thing left to do. No, no mother, no, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. In your own hand? But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. <sighs> <sighs> 
was that? You oh, yeah, daydreaming? Louis, are to... you all right? What? What's going on? Do you see the future? Here, take this. Wait, I'm sorry. sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't time why travelers. don't you go on ahead and make I'll catch really up fun. with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. I I'm sure. Read about yes. Game before I, uh, fine. Played it. Oh, I know it's a story game. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. You run. Oh, yay. Oh. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Hmm. Diplomat, occultist, or detective? That shines in society. A talented speaker he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is a field of election. Politics is a master of deception. Convinced of important knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and arts. Uh, detective, trained to notice every detail. That is definitely not me. Mmm, so diplomat or cultist? Oh, cultist sounds more fun. Oh, I get skills. Cultist unlocks the erudition, occultism, subterfuge, science, and manipulation skills. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. Your past granted you one skill point conviction. Your past granted you one skill point manipulation. Um, okay. Right. Um. Science. You have to date with scientific knowledge and medical techniques. Yes. Uh. Need three points. This. Some diffuses discreetly steal items, pick locks, notice falsification. Benefit from a sound cultural background, the arts, geography, and history. Um, oh, we already got something into that one. Get people to act in your own interest. How many points do I have? Oh, two available points. Um, which one? This sounds, this sounds good. Oh, I thought... Oh. No. Whoopsie! Can I take this one back? Oh, I can. Okay. Level 2 manipulation. Um, space... Validate? I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. Mm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priest stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Mm. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. 
You do remember me, don't you? What? And also a liner, huh? Oh. What? Um No. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Ooh. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please, stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember oh, you. I thought they were going to show Let's like a drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Hmm, she must be lying. What? Your skills allow you to discover hidden details, select the object that is most suggested of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have it unlocked. Just need to have unlocked it. Validate. Hold, um. Okay. Uh, is a loading screen? Oh. When the time limit is over and answer is automatically selected, check the dialogue timer at the bottom. Oh. Okay. I'm heading off. Don't get left behind. I'm coming. Well, you should have explained that to me before it came up. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Oh, to obtain talents from carrying out certain actions, remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer interesting improvements. You all talents and dedicated tab in the menu. Um, okay. And I already did that, didn't we? Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Um... What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island so and regularly passed. changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? I have a mask on. Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have on. left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the F at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost of effort is in effort points. Balance your skills by using the character tab in the menu. Menu. Um. Oh, this is the only Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. 
I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Um... Reputation 2, cost reduced... Gimme! Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's going. Uh, what is this? App? Inventory? Colonel? Character? Talents? Oh. Hmm. Missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. I didn't see it. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? broken for quite some time. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Oreo jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. That's one to use it. One. Must be an incredible uh, view from up there. Impossible sure. to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. The sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. Edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Um, dang it! This might Why just not? come in handy. We have unlimited size pockets, right? touched for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. Okay. Mail? Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Um. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. I don't know slightest it. idea what it says. It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. The 
address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Okay. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. The order? Probably a Dutchman. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. This name sounds familiar. Prashi, Prashi, Prashi. No. Can't seem to place it. Samuel Ritter Doshua. Oh, <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Richet. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name. Okay. What's but here you go even voice? further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy, Godoy. Ben Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Okay. Do I need to go through the rest of them? Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Um, we do this one? Address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. No, oh, it's not. Can we do this one? Probably a Dutchman. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, look for more clues or go to the manor. Anything over here? Okay, I guess we're going to the manor. Oop. Almost walked off. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? 